Hi everybody, welcome to another update on the stock screen. Today I want to highlight something about Prospera Energy. Um, stock has been done very well. It has declined a bit after running up. So probably people taking profits. Um, also there was a delay on production and drilling. So it's still looking very strong. Um, I think uh, shareholders have strong hands on this company. But I wanted to highlight the following. Just listen with me. Yeah, so we've had the WCS differential fall from the mid-20s to $17 this morning. That's the lowest level since about May of last year. Oh, well, you can see quite a rally there in our charts as Massive. well. Yeah, yeah. So few people could explain why we went into the mid-20s. Like, we had a pipeline outage. We had China, basically, there was a buyer strike of heavy oil as they were still under COVID zero. We have names like a Meg that said, you know, they hadn't been sending any shipments. They only just started mm -hmm. in December to send the first shipment to China. High natural gas prices in Europe meant that it was more expensive to use heavy oil in their refineries. Yep. Natural gas prices have fallen 60-70%. So there's a lot of reasons. It, this was not a takeaway issue, it was a short-term demand issue for heavy oil. To me, $17 WCS differentials tells me China is back. And that's hugely important, not just for WTI, but for WCS. So I look at Canada. So he's talking about um, the $17 differential. So that's this year. So as you can see, this shows the differential between WTI and WCS, which is the Canadian heavy oil price. And as you can see, Canadian oil has been weak due to China being locked down. But now, since October, November, December, January, and February, we see this boom again. So this is the China reopening play. And I think this can keep on rising and go maybe to 10. So there's a lot of upsides on this uh, differential arbitrage, about $10. And that's huge because that's that's about 15% uh, upside in the price of Canadian oil. So that's the first thing that Eric Nuttall is talking about. Let's continue. We're building out TMX. Line fill should be Q4 this year. Another 500,000 barrels, 550, 100,000 barrels per day of excess capacity, customer diversification. We've got a, a very important refinery coming online in Mexico, where rather than sending heavy oil to the Gulf Coast, they're going to consume it. So bad for refiners, great for WCS. So if you're bullish on oil... And here he is talking about refiners coming online. And that's something I have posted here. We have Exxon that's going to start up this weekend. Um, they are going to process around 250,000 and then going to 360,000 BOE per day. That's coming online. So that's using crude oil. And Mexico is also uh, building uh, refineries uh, in July, which will add another 340,000 POEs per day. So a lot of crude oil demand is coming online. And, and I honestly don't understand over the medium term how you can't be. The best way to express that view is in buying WCS, Canadian heavy oil producers, because you're getting the longest reserve life of anywhere that I can find in the world, mm -hmm. the strongest balance sheets of anywhere in the world, the lowest decline rates of anywhere in the, in the world, and everybody is committed to return 75 to 100% of that free cash flow back to us in the next two-ish quarters, two to three quarters from now. And you can look at it, like, okay, 30% free cash yields. Will the name stay trading at a 30% dividend yield? My premise would be no. Okay, so he's, he's telling me to buy Canadian heavy oil producers. Who do you think has Canadian heavy oil? That's Prospera Energy. They have Canadian heavy oil, have super large reserves, as Eric Nuttall says, the largest reserves, 400 years of reserves at current production. So they can easily increase production uh, with all of those reserves. Um, that's why we have exponential growth with Prospera Energy. They have the highest margins, as uh, Eric Nuttall says, great balance sheets, because they have so 
great margins. Uh, they can go to $10 per barrel costs. And the Canadian oil price is going to go higher uh, due to the decrease in the spread and also due to an increase in the WTI oil price. So you have great margins, great balance sheets, uh, great reserves, and you're in heavy oil. So that's exactly what we need to buy. No, it's going to get re-rated to 10 to 12. So you can see that identifiable catalyst and it's coming and you can triangulate in terms of when that's going to be occurring. So that's the reason why our fund is about 75% exposed to Canadian heavy oil. 75% exposed to Canadian heavy oil. Okay, he is buying Mac Energy, but we are buying Prospera Energy because this has much higher upside than... Um, than uh, Mac Energy. And why is this? Because Mac Energy is maybe growing like 10% per year, but Prospera Energy is growing exponentially per year 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and then 5,000, 10,000 production. So it's easy to, to, to choose Prospera Energy. Uh, instead of uh, MAC energy. So we continue to invest in Prospera energy. They can have hiccups. Uh, it's going to go slow in the beginning, but um, you are in the correct market, and that market is Canadian heavy oil. So just wanted to give an update on this. Now, if we just take a look at the where is it the miners then we can look at the valuations so prospera energy And you can actually visualize this. Eh? Look at this chart. How do you think this chart is going to progress? So currently we are still at 75 Canadian dollars of oil. So we start at this valuation. And that's a valuation of 2023. So the valuation is still very low. The market cap is higher than the valuation. So not a lot of upside. But in the course of the year, I think oil prices can go this way. So we go to 80, 85, 90. And then you can already see, and the WTI, WCS spread will. Uh, close in so that we will go a bit higher than this so we will probably hit around 100 this year right so there's already an upside just by increasing the oil price and that will go above the market cap now in 2024 production will increase to this level. So this will gradually start rising like this. And the oil price could go above 100 by next year. So probably next year will be like this, going to this production. And then probably the oil price will stay stable around this level. Uh, it will never go back below 100. But Prosper Energy will keep on increasing production. So in 2025, it will go like this. Maybe the oil price can go back down. Then it would go like this. But production will keep on rising. So ultimately, this will be the trajectory. And the share price would be going from here 
two here, which is this point, right? That is our trajectory for the coming years. And currently we are at 70, 60 to 70 million market cap, fully diluted. This will go to 1 billion in a few years. So this is our upside due to an increase in oil price and differentials. Aduro Cleantech will add another 10 to 20 to that. So it will go to here. So probably in 2025, we could even go this way due to Aduro Clean Tech, which will convert heavy oil into light oil. So it will add another 10 to 20 in margin. So we could go even higher like this and go to here. So plenty of upside in the coming years. The only thing that we need is patience. And how much upside is this? 15x from current prices, from 70 to 1.2 billion in the long run. And this is possible because we have so much reserves so we can increase production. Now, MEC Energy, which is what Eric Nuttall likes, I don't think that is a bad company. But look at this. What is the production growth here? 10% per year. That's not a lot. Only 10% per year. So what is the trajectory of MEC energy. Let's do the same here. So the trajectory of MEC energy is the following. We are currently at 75. This is the market cap. Valuation is only here. Five times free cash flow. We will go to yeah, probably like this to $90. Um, and then to 100 and probably here we will stay and then there is not a lot of upside anymore in the oil price but there's a, a little bit of growth so in the coming years it will stay around here what is the upside here so that's the market cap and this is the valuation currently the upside is only and what is the market cap 6 billion. So we go from 6 billion to 12 billion. That's a double. Not bad. A double based on an increase in the oil price. Go here. I mean, this is not bad. A double for MEC Energy. But you can see the production growth is not that high. So you won't get a 10-bagger from Mac Energy, but you can get a 10-bagger from Prospera Energy. So this is why I buy Prospera Energy as my Canadian uh, heavy oil producer instead of Mac Energy. I want a 10-bagger, not a 2-bagger. Okay, so that was the update. Hope you can see what the potential is for this company. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.